Hello YouTube. Cam in here, today I'm at the landfill again and I got a bottle in the hole. Ooh, it's a prune juice. Yay. Cool. Fortunately blank, but still pretty cool. Fine, I'll be back with the next find. Hello, look. One sec. It says, Herbert Rubini Camphor Pills. That's so cool. Yay. I'm gonna put this away and I'll keep digging, but I'm not gonna keep it. Elm City Bottling Co. View something 23 View Street, New Haven, and it's blown in a mold. Oh well, let's keep digging. I just finished digging. Got a few more things, but as far as I remember, nothing else too exciting. But oh well, I got at least one really good bottle. I'll have to look at what I got when I get home and find out. I'm exhausted. That uh, walk part way here, not much like a mile, but before that, I walked three miles for exercise. That's my normal walking. Yeah. Oh, it says something here. Look. Brook. Uh, what does it say? 548. Drake. Something. Oscar. Os something Drake. 54 something. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's keep going. Wow. Hello, I'm back with the review. Let's get started. First is this cool prune juice bottle. I believe it's prune juice, yeah. It's pretty nice. Nice round shape. It says patent applied for on the bottom and the date code of 1934. Yep. Pretty cool. Then there's this really cool doorknob. Yeah, it has like a swirl pattern on it. Really fancy. I'll get it wet so you can see it better. I'll do it. So here's one side, you can see much better now. And here's the other. It's all scratched up, so it's a lot easier to see when they get it wet. It's really beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Really fancy pottery. Pretty cool. And then this, which is not very old. It's ni about 1976, I mean 73 to 86, it dates too. Yeah. Fortunately, I have a license plate where it's half of the other side, but it's a different license plate. It doesn't match. Because the other one I have is a bit newer. It's 1980, the other one I have. Then there's this. This is just a 1970s knife. These are the two only modern kinds, the only two. This is gonna be for sculpting, and this I'm not sure yet. Then there's this parts of a clock. Yep, it's really freezing right now outside. So in case I sound a bit cold, that's because I am. Yeah, and there's another gear for it. Yep. Okay, then I got a furniture coaster. That's what these are. But this is, ooh, Hazel Atlas. I didn't even realize before. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Then I got two of these jars. I found similar ones before, but not with this texture on it. So I found two of these. I just took them to use for storage. Yep. Probably from like the 30s. Got two of those. Good for storage. Oh, my cat Luke wants to come out. Let me get him out. Come on out, Mookie. Come quick, I don't want to let the cold air in the house. Or don't come quick. Closing the door in a moment. Oh, there's Hudson. Are you coming in or not? I mean, out. I'm giving you a few more seconds. Uh, I'll give you, I'll continue to do with you while I wait. Then there's this. This is one of my two favorite finds. It may not look like much, but this is something really good. Yeah. It's a 1940s beer tap. Yeah, 1940s. It's so cool. The beard, where well, it's a knob from a beard top. So I think this would be the part that would be facing towards the customers. I don't know exactly what it would, it's called a ball knob for a beard top. Yeah, it's really cool. It's so cool. I'm freezing right now. It's so cold. I don't know how cold it is. I'll have to check on my phone. I'll update you now. Yep. Oh my God. It's so cool. Yeah, it's such a beer knob. I've never found anything like that. It's from a beer tap. I mean, yeah. 
Then I found three of these ball number 10 lids. I haven't found any of these at this dump before, but I found like 10 of them at another dump that I go to. But no jars at that place either. Okay, oh, I'm so cold. Then there's this fuse. I can't tell what it says though. Yep. And here's a strange fuse. This is from the older spot where I got an 1890s bottle, but this is probably not the 1890s. It has a square base here, which is unusual. It says, Weber Electric Co. Patent, and it has the patent number. Yep. Okay, I think there's only one more item. Yep, this is my best find. It's a, it's a blown in a mold medicine. It says Hurlbert Rubini Camphor Pills. I have some information on that company, which I'll show now. Yep, oh, I'm so cold, but this is so cool. Yay, I don't normally find 1890s bottles. Oh, I'm so cold. Well, bye, hope you enjoyed. Time to prune away. Oh, that was terrible. That was a terrible outro.